What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hitman 3. Now, what I have in store here, you might be wondering, why is this on my screen right now? Season of Pride, May 10th to June 13th. There is the seven deadly sins for um, Agent 47. That's part of the seven deadly sins collection. As you can see up there, there's so far greed and pride right now. I will get to that as soon as I finish part one of, or sorry, Hitman one. But uh, May 14th to May 23rd, which is today actually, is the icon. I'm actually going to go tackle the icon, hopefully after I'm done in Morocco. And then, if it's not too late, I mean. The icon, uh, so there's a lot of limited time targets that I can get right now. So I'm going to wait after this episode. So she's obviously has around 30 hours until she's off the market. All right, but right now we've already done France. We've done Italy. We are now off to Morocco, which I believe let's check out the recap and see what we are missing right now. Let me just load it up real quick. Level 120. Here we go. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. All right, so military general and Klaus Hugo Strandberg. All right, obviously with the planning, I don't need the fiber wire, of course. I need the lock pick. So the lock pick obviously gets me into stuff. I still love that the blueberry muffins and melee. All right, lock pick mark two. All right, so the smuggled item. I'm gonna use. Um, Oh, Lamp Shop Alley, I know where that is. What about things to throw at him? The big one. So, I'm going to use shurikens, because if I remember, uh, Strandberg's going to be no problem, but it's the general that I'm mainly going to be more scared to do. Please don't tell me that just ruined it. It did shit! Alright. 
right. Blunt weapons only knock out NPCs. Sharp weapons will eliminate them. That's why I brought the shuriken. So that way I can either throw it at them from a distance. So we're going to try to see which one of the targets will probably be the best part to eliminate them from. Because with Italy, I barely escaped. Not knowing, well, I knocked out Welcome the guard at least. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. All right, perfect. All right, here we go. Okay. So, if I remember mission stories, um, prime time. Disguise yourself as the cameraman. Okay. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. No, he is capitalism. I mean, that's what we all want this day and age, right? It's, it's all right. Bobby. I mean, I'm not an expert or anything. So I'm gonna probably go over here. I'm at the lobby checking out and I hear this big shot producer on the phone with an agency desperate to get a cameraman for an interview while you go to Grandberg. Grandberg, the, the banker. You ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front. Of course I'm not gonna do it. There's no way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free money, and the dunce doesn't even know my real name. <laughs> Would you believe I said my name was Finley? Right, so I'm at the shisha place down near the bazaar. Whenever you can sneak out, come and join me, okay? Smoke is on me. All right. How do I get the VIP? I just got the fastest car. Sir, this is a restricted area. You're gonna have to move away. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Damn it, how am I supposed to get in now? Do I need to get um, a waiter? I think I need to get a waiter costume. The question is, how am I going to do it without even alerting people? So this is where my thing was. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out the fuck I'm supposed to do with my suitcase. So I'm going to actually drop it over here. You know, political dogmas of today. Democracy doesn't work. It's a powerhouse that fuels economic bubbles. Okay, so... Salam alaikum. You want a lamb? I'm okay, thank you. So I need a disguise. Come closer. I'll call the lamps the best in Morocco. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Hello, hi, welcome, welcome. Please, what would you like? My special house. 
So how am I supposed to disguise myself as a cameraman if he's in the VIP area? I'm serious. He's at the shisha den right now, laughing his ass off. <laughs> oh man, that is so like Jeff. But come on, CNN is one of the biggest news networks in the world. You can't just take their money and run. Well, apparently they're doing an interview with Klaus Rothbard. You know that white collar ass. Interview of the year with GNN. Why wouldn't he just do it? Who knows where a gig like that? Wait a minute, that's to the uh, lazy as shit. Okay, hang on. Yes, okay, perfect. Hey, dude. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, don't worry about that. That's just, uh... Oh, come the fuck on! You're fucking up my plan! Thank you. Now fuck off! So would I be technically trespassing if I went this way? So I already got the membership key, so that way I can go back in. Okay, perfect. Don't mind me. Yeah, I need to see an invite. I have my membership. All right, thanks. We're good. All right, so now I'm supposed to be back here. Excuse me, boss. I don't know who you are. So okay, I'm gonna wait for the cameraman to come back because now I gotta turn off the sound system. So when he comes back to take the phone call, I might as well wait until he uh, gets back here. No, I'm not gonna use a shuriken. I'm gonna wait right now. So he's gonna go look. I can see one of them over there. Okay. So I'm gonna wait. Wait. There. Oh. Hey, nothing to see here. Okay, so let's go meet up with the news crew. I'm just going into a random room. Alrighty. That military soldier knows who I am. Okay. Here, let me go blend in the crowd here. Lady, you gotta move. I could just about strangle Jerry. Stomach cramps. Uh, finally, where have you been? Sorry, the streets on sale. No shit, eh? Klaus Strandberg has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity GNN reporter Pan Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate, 
and the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive. But he has arrived. It's me! Alrighty. Don't mind us. We're here for an interview. Glad everyone is so happy to see us. Me too. Just a minute. I'll dance right here, don't worry. Oh yeah, let's go. Alright, I'm in. So easy, isn't it? Oh, am I supposed to wait here? Come on, lady, you're taking your time! Okay, remember, Pam. Technically, Stromberg has not been convicted of any crime. So, we're not allowed to ask directly about the location of the seven billion. Stick to the facts. I got it. The accusations. The trial. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You know, get his side of the story. Tyler, I got this. Right. Tyler, I got this. You, Chill. Aim and shoot. This is it, guys. Oh, if you tell me to aim and shoot, I think I got another thing in mind. You want me to aim and shoot? Well... You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Nice camera. Good quality. <laughs> Let me skip okay, over. Kinsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. Why are you missing a couple screens? I must say, I was surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest. Yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. It's real if you've seen it on TV. Fuck, I think I know another way I could have done this shit. That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. Yep. I gotta find a way to uh, shoot that thing down. Aha, capital, you made it. Come on in. Come. Lots of great photo opportunities today. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is uh, Tyler Clark. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> for it, isn't it? Well, <laughs> let's do this, shall we? All right, hang on here. Interesting. So I'm gonna go. Alrighty. So they have no idea I left. Hmm. That's the security room. Okay. So I'm going to conceal you. And oh, okay. Uh, throw that back down there again. Oh, uh, start the camera. Yeah, sorry, I was throwing my shit out. You know my ninja stars. What the hell's a Ponzi scheme? It's a... Okay. 
Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Hey, camera guy. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something okay. about the light? I wasn't expecting an actual answer. answer. Thank you. So how did yeah, you no worries. So the lights. Okay, so apparently I can Access only throw. To the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Ooh, okay. Nicely done, forty-seven. Nothing to see here, officer. Nothing to see here. I did not pull a ninja star out of there at all. Hey, don't mind me as I put my gun away. This isn't technically. Will that be okay? I panicked. Right, so what I'm gonna do now... Where can I dump them? Where can I dump them? Right here, right here. Okay. So, without them getting freaked out that I have a weapon again... Okay, so the fire alarm would be for the evacuation. Okay, so now I have a screwdriver. So upstairs. Good day to you, sir. All right, and if I believe correctly. Okay, so there's the guy, but I need to get to the moose. You ever heard of the moose area? <laughs> Perhaps the term has fallen out of favor with your middle class viewers, Miss Kingsley, but me, I bear that brand proudly. Capital C. Mm. If you are innocent, in the eyes of the law, why did violent assailants spring you from police custody this morning? Well, that I'm afraid uh, I cannot answer. Some philanthropy. My ordeal, no doubt. I appreciate the mm. gesture, but the approach. Of Oh, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. Oh, you made quite the impression. Ah, quite the impression! Oh, there's a moose! Next up, Razor Zaydan. What was that noise? Will do. Thank you. What? We're good for body bags. I just need to start setting up the perimeter and then I'm done. Understood, sir. Out. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what happened there. Oh, I thought the interview was done. That's why I scurried. You guys are doing a swell job at security, by the way. Very swell, by the way. Excuse me. I need to go get my uniform back. Oh, don't mind me as I need to go get my fucking gun. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure that's the body bag from Strandberg. Oh, if you squint right over there, you can see the general. Wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Go. All right. <clears throat> Attention all personnel. This is a level four security announcement. A terrible accident just occurred. Please stay calm as we investigate and do not discuss the incident with the outside world. Do not discuss the incident. 
a moose landed on him. That's the. <laughs> Oh god, I'm about to get- I'm about to get fired! Excuse me, don't mind me. Alright, anyway. Um, okay. So, let's see what the last one. Bad blood. Uh, okay, so. So I gotta go all the way to the school now. So I'm gonna guess that the rank in military is probably gonna go a little bit more higher considering he's more near the abandoned school. Yeah, see there's checkpoints. There's fucking different ranks. Yuck. Okay. So, not here. Ooh, what about you? Oh, hi. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just standing here enjoying my time. Hey there, camera guy. How are you today? Do you mind turning around and walking the other way? That means right now I'm trying to sneak in and kill your general. I mean, <clears throat> trying to film the next movie. So you understand. Oh, there's only one guy, though. Oh shit. Okay, so as long as I don't get spotted here, I'm gonna be fucking glorious. <laughs> what was that? Man, I got a disturbance. Uh, yeah, you do! Someone wants to give you a big old hug. Now this was the other side of the story I was trying to get at. So the elite soldier now, now I can go near the general. And I want my coin back, please. I'm like that. I want my food, or I want my uh, stuff back. Keep this around to blend in character. Ooh, what do we have over here? The fuck is a sword? Why do they have a freaking sword? Alright, guess... Guess no one's robbing this store anytime soon. Okay. So, let's see here. So this is where we are. Level zero is the garage. So that goes straight to the embassy if we ever decide to go down that path. But we need to get to the school. So, I'm going to see if I can get past the checkpoint. Which, if they're smart enough, they won't know it's me. Let's run! Hey. Hey, guys. How's it going? At ease, soldier. At ease? You guys look a little tense. Let's calm it down a little. Alright, we made it to the school. So this would have been the other thing to... This would have killed them both. Okay, that guy knows what I look like. Sue... Okay, weird. What? Check it out. Can do. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. What do you do? Ah, uh, found him. General Zaydan says the man is still here. That's all there is to that. Probably got cold feet about the operation. Tried to rat us out. Ask the captain if he's still home. Doing that phone forever. Uh, I mean, it's so important. X, Y. 
Yeah, I bet that's why you saved the execution for after the phone call. Commanding a firing squad is a pretty good way to vent. <laughs> screaming into a sofa cushion. That's uh, pretty cynical. A man's life is on the line here. Yeah, he probably deserves it. Lousy traitor. All right, so I found the prisoner's cell. Uh oh. That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. Keeper of the peace. What do you? Oh, okay. So apparently, I need to get this guy's thing. Not like an elite soldier cut it out. So I wonder if I could get them both. Because there's a little thing right here. I'm going to sneak out here for a second. I think I can unlock over here. Yep, I'm going to unlock this door even though it's a legal action. No one notices. Hey, boss. Oh, wow. That is a lot of remote explosives. I'm assuming this is the arsenal. Ah. Ah. Yes. <laughs> I could peep. What's going on in... So that's his little compadre right over there. Nah, I need keys. Plus this guy's gonna know I'm not doing something right. Don't mind me, I'm just climbing through again. Now for the test is how do I fuck do I get this guy? Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Whoopsie! No, but really. I mean this whole man's man attitude. Deep booming voice. Chest hair, right? Come on. Everyone knows. This guy was not going to become general. Was if he took a dump on the flag. <laughs> You're not wrong, that's for sure. Someone's in trouble. Thing is, it's not like Zayden is even the lead from the front kind of guy, you know. I mean, uh, he graduated from West Point, body da da, flying colors and all. But have you seen actual combat? Not unless you count enhanced interrogation. Blowhard with a pair of pliers. That's all he really is. Oh, <laughs> you're preaching to the choir, man. Lines up against him. Yeah. Good old fashioned mutiny. That's right. He's still oh, guard okay. the guard. Yep. Hey, mind if I take a swing at the lobby? Don't mind me. I was just wanting to see what he smelt like. That's all. How do I get poison? I need to poison his drink. Ugh, I hate this sometimes. Ooh. Okay, so the military officer's disguise must be the one with the uh, red hat. Ooh, hi. Ah, uh, hello everyone. I'm just panicking. It's what I do best, apparently. Ooh. Would it matter?
Did I just... Ooh, okay. Command, the situation is full bar. That's understood. Commencing Operation Spring Clean. <laughs> What's that? There should be a crate somewhere nearby. There's nothing out here. Weird. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the uh, thingy over here. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Now leave, sir. Mahmoud. He'll never believe I was a traitor. If he finds the tapes... Dan won't expect resistance from a tied up prisoner. <sighs> okay. Ah, uh, it's too late. Shit. I already got a penalty for killing the military officer. He wasn't a target, but... Oh, hi. Time to decide. What should I do with you? Are you asleep? Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Syed. Right? Oh, I'm definitely asleep. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. All right. Sorry, guys, but duty calls. I gotta go. You should be panicking, you guys still have your jobs. Yeah. 10-4, you guys did great. Did amazing, you know, everyone gets to keep their jobs. Cause he's in the front. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just using this this cause. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prison. Going this way. Don't worry about it. No, no, thank you. I gotta go. 
The fact that I didn't even have to use my, uh, the gun still. Oh, I could just go through here. I bid you all adieu. I didn't get caught this time, which is good. Compared to the last time I played Hitman, I, I always got caught when I got into the school. But that was my first time I've ever been undetected. So that's huge. All right, give me those points. Oh, the new transfer, a room with a moose. 5,000 XP, I probably got three stars. Four. Okay, the black cat. I wonder why that's the thing. Oh, to make it all look like an accident, probably. Okay. Huh, not too bad. All right. Ah. I like that. All right, let's see this cutscene. New York, two days later. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... This plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. This must be Providence. So this must be Providence, then. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Italy. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> the money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. So Lucas Gray said he had Cobb and someone else. He had the two keys. Now he has all of the information of Providence. So Providence is the top echelon of the world, pretty much. High, high place people. Let's just say that. So I believe the next story is Club 27. But we'll get to that in the next episode. Until then, I'm going to go back to the main menu and see if I can get the icon done. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so instead of this, we're going for this. Good morning, 47. Your target is Joanne Bayswater, a rogue assassin banished by, how shall I put it, one of our competing agencies. For many years, she was one of their top operatives. However, her self-confidence led to arrogance, putting civilians' lives at risk. Mm. Her handler, believing she was becoming a hazard, brought it up with the board. Miss Bayswater did not take well to this betrayal and went out of her way to seek revenge on the one she felt had stabbed her in the back. Now she has broken free and set up her own business as a final insult to our client. 
destroying the natural order. They have made multiple attempts to get rid of her, but she is always one step ahead. And this is why they have turned to us. They might be too proud to admit it, but they need the best. One does not defy the gods without consequences. Good luck, 47. So I read briefly that they're after us, Diana Burnwood, so the British lady, and then me, Agent 47. So question is, is where are we going? Okay, I don't know about this one. Argentina. Hmm. I might as well wait until a future episode for that one. So instead of the icon, we're going after the iconoclast. Which is apparently, her name is Joanne Bayswater. An assassin targeting me. But she doesn't know that I'm also after her. So... Let's see if I can get this. Okay, so actually I'm gonna save that one for the next episode. So, until then, thank you everyone so much for coming out and watching Hitman 3. Part four, I guess, we are going to go towards Thailand in Bangkok. And if we are have enough time, we'll get the Iconoclist and get Joanne Bayswater. Now, the thing is with elusive targets, if you fuck up, you can't do it again. So obviously like in Sapienza, if I get caught, and obviously if I die, I can't go back. So, we're gonna save Joanne Bayswater for part four after we go to um, Thailand and see what we can get from that. Actually, you know what? Since I kind of teased the icon for this episode, I'm gonna do Joanne Bayswater first, and then we're gonna go to Thailand and then get this story back on the road. So that way we can have time for an elusive target, and obviously just for, um, and just in time for Joanne Bayswater. So thank you everyone so much for coming up for this episode of Hitman 3. I will see you in the next video. Peace!